All right, welcome back. And uh, like I said, we'll be jumping in and talking about the quick selection tool first. And so we're just moving in order down the line here. So right below the magnetic lasso or right below the lasso tools, we have, you can see the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. Now these aren't as intuitive as far as their keyboard shortcut. You can see it's the letter W. Um, and so the letter W will be what we use to access these tools. But the quick selection tool, uh, it's probably the one you're going, you're going to see by default uh, that's up there first. Um, and so it looks like a little paintbrush with some marching ants around it. Um, and I'm going to hit Command D. I still have my parrot selection from the previous video. Um, and so with the quick selection tool, it's exactly what it says. Uh, it's a way to really quickly select parts of your image. Um, and when we did the uh, color replacement tool or the color replacer tool, um, it worked similarly to the selection tool, but instead this time of coloring something, we're creating selections. And so we have a brush that you guys can see here, and I'm just simply dictating the size with the bracket tools here. Uh, and the size is really the only control that we have. You can see some of the tools we have here, um, and the size is pretty much the only tool we have to dictate how we're selecting. And so basically, the more area you have, or the larger the brush, the more tonal range, the more areas you're choosing to select from. And so if you have a smaller brush, it's going to select a much more specific color range um, than if you have a big brush, something like this. And obviously, I would be selecting more yellows and oranges and blues as I go through. And so a lot of times, um, you want a more uh, a smaller brush for a more specific selection, even when doing a, a quick selection uh, like this. And so all you do then is just simply click and drag, and as you select colors, you can see it'll create the selection. Um, by default with the quick selection tool, because the whole point of this is to be quick, um, it goes to the plus, just adding to the selection. That's its default. Uh, so we don't need to hold the shift key with this one. Um, and so I'll just continue to drag these out. And really quickly, you can see here, I have created an almost perfect selection of the five birds here. I've got a little bit of a disruption here uh, where it connected the dots. But I'll hold Option, and I can drag those out and remove that. And now I have almost a perfect selection of all uh, five birds and uh, that's the quick selection tool so basically the size of the brush remember bracket keys that's our our uh, quick there our quick keyboard shortcut that really help us along bracket keys dictate the, the brush size and the brush size dictates the selection um, and how much the different tones are being selected with the quick selection tool so it's a fantastic tool to really quickly get some accurate selections uh, but obviously, if everything in your image is colored the same or is within a similar tonal range, then this might not work so well for you. Um, so that's the quick selection. And then kind of in the same boat as that, which is why it's grouped together, is the old-fashioned, the older magic wand tool. And so the magic wand tool has been around for a long time. The quick selection tool has only been around for a few years uh, comparatively. And so with the magic wand tool, though, it allows us to be a little bit more precise than the quick selection, but it still works in the same premise of these different tolerances within the tones. And so you can see with the quick select, or excuse me, the magic wand tool, um, you can see we have um, the sample size. And so we've got three by three, five by five, 11 by 11, and so on. And those are the number of pixels um, that you're selecting from every time you click. And so then the tolerance is, again, just like before with the tolerances when we've dealt with those is um, the lower the tolerance, <coughs> excuse me, the lower the tolerance, uh, the um, less of a specific tone uh, the brush or the, excuse me, the tool is going to select from, and the higher the tolerance, the more of the tones within that specific hue the uh, tool is going to select from. And again, the uh, sample size is the, the way that we're selecting the colors or the tones to work from. And so obviously, uh, the larger the size, the more tones you're selecting, similar to the quick selection tool. Uh, most people will typically leave this as a uh, point sample, so that's just a one-click, one-pixel area where we're clicking and then relying the tolerance 
uh, for dictating how much of that is spread around. So let's take a look with a 50, uh, with a, uh, 50 tolerance level. Um, we can click and it gave us that. Now, if I click again over here, it's going to give me a totally new selection. So in this case, we have to go back to our keyboard shortcut and hold shift uh, to add these selections together. And so you can see this is working okay for me, um, but I might want to increase my tolerance a, a little bit to get a bit better selection. So I'm gonna try that. We'll go up to maybe a 75 tolerance and we'll give that a shot. Okay, so that jumped it a little bit more, a lot more actually, and with one click I was able to select the majority of these three birds. And so I'll go through and, and click. And so you can see it, it's giving me um, a bit more control, a bit more precise control uh, over the tones, but uh, what's happening is it's also selecting these tones out here now. Um, so I can hold Option and uh, click, and that'll deselect that for me as well. And so this is obviously just a, one more way to uh, skin the cat, right? Uh, one more way to um, create selections, and it's really um, user preference as well as image dictated, um, you know, what the image is uh, made up of as far as colors and tones to which tool really works the best. Um, and you'll probably find preference for which one you like to work with, uh, but I'm just trying to give you an overall uh, look at all the different tools that are available. And so that is the quick selection and magic wand tools.